Amadi reacts after Sultan of Sokoto tells politicians on court to accept election result in good faith. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post her juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The Sultan of Sokoto recently made a statement calling on Nigerian politicians to accept election result in good faith when seeking court redress. According to the Sultan, politicians need to respect the electoral process and the will of the people. By accepting the election result in good faith, politicians can contribute to the stability and development of the country. However, Sam Amadi, a Nigerian lawyer and former chairman of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, disagreed with Sultan's statement. Sam Amadi believes that accepting poverty, atrocities, federalism, and killings of ordinary Nigerians in good faith has contributed to the underdevelopment of the country. He argues that accepting such injustices only perpetuates the cycle of poverty and inequality. Sam Amadi believes that the recovery of the throne or the right to hold political power should not be accepted in good faith. He suggests that politicians should fight for their right and challenge any injustice they encounter in the electoral process. By doing so, they can hold those in power accountable and ensure that the will of the people is respected. According to Sam Amadi Street, he said, and I quote, This is the reason why we are so underdeveloped. Accept the poverty of millions in good faith. Accept atrocities in good faith. Accept feudalism and all its evils in good faith. Accept killings and murder of ordinary Nigerians in good faith. But the recovery of the throne will not be in good faith. And the thing is, this is 100% correct. Eh, eh, we don't want problem. Let me call the problem like people that don't know how they don't pronounce B in their language. We don't want problem. Ah, farewala. Leave them. You are a very peaceful person. Let them carry their wahala and go. Brother, when will you start, stand up to fight your, your what's it called, your oppressors? At least, even if you're not going to find them, stand your ground and say enough is enough. Stand your ground and say enough is enough. I am going to say this. This is going to anger some of us. <laughs> I'm already laughing. I am going to say this. But the thing is, I am telling you I am grateful that I'm from a southern part of Nigeria. Aish! If I from from the north, wala for you. I'm saying this from the angle of... Now, so then go you study them for the air. It is Allah's will. Let us bear it in good faith. People, they die. People are being slaughtered like chicken. People are being killed on a daily basis. People are being raped on a daily basis. People are raped in front. What am I saying? Women are raped in front of their children. Daughters are raped in front of their fathers, their, their family members. People are killed. And you are saying they should take it in good faith. That must where you stuck. I'm clean them, clean them, clean them. Clean them, boo. And no, it's not okay. Why will you be tolerating it? For what? That means these people, you are accepting that you are a lower human being. That means maybe probably you are an animal. Probably you are an animal. Yes. If you are going to come and accept what another human being ha, come and do to you, do they pay peace? Uh-uh. I've said it that in any society that status quo is not challenged, believe you me, there will be a problem. If there is nothing challenging the status quo in any society. I said it before that even those that invented this uh, aeroplane, you are able to take flight. Once upon a time, they sat down and said, no, how we go there, we're not going to get flight. People saw them as crazy, but they stood their ground. There are people, that, that, those that, uh, what's it called, those that came out and they invented the bulb. They said, how we go use day every time, would they use lights, would they use candle lights. That time there was not even candle. They are going to use it any time you go take firewood. They, no. They invented something, right? What if they did not challenge the status quo at that time? Now, so the world go be, we're not going to move forward. So for Nigeria to move forward, we must challenge the way things are. We cannot say we are going to move or be able to move forward without remaining. Mm -mm. You cannot remain the same way you, and you grew. It's not possible. It's not possible. So we need to challenge the status quo. That is why me too, I totally disagree with the Sultan. I disagree in all, as in from the beginning to what he said to the end. We cannot accept it in good faith, too. I accept banditry in good faith. 
accept kidnapping in good faith. Accept terrorism in good faith. Accept killings in good faith. Accept inflation in good faith. Accept policies that do not are bad. For what? Even if you are daft. And we are not daft. We are very brilliant people. Very intelligent people. So coming out to say we shall accept it in good faith, that one, you know, fit even work at all. That is why I'm saying that I am so lucky. <laughs> if you're in the I mean, if you're in the southern part of the country, you don't know what God has done for you. Even if you're in Northern, if you're not in the southern part of the country, you're in the southern part of the country, you were raised there. Oh my, you go see things. Why? Because you are going to be giving the opportunity to challenge status quo. There are certain things that you know over here in the South that those, yeah, for the end, you don't even dream of it. You cannot even, why? They don't even allow you to know. This is how you go and tell them, that, and those ones will believe and say it is the will of Allah. No. Allah no do say make somebody kill another person, go score free. Allah no do say make somebody come, kidnap another person, then use the person to talk, okay, pay this one, pay 10 million, pay 5 million. It is not the will of Allah. I beg. Nigeria cannot progress from corrupt bringing, okay, from corruption, lying and buying the people that will serve the truth. See Adamawa RAC, he gave what he learned from his master Mahmoud, but he wants him to go to prison and leave his master. Why? To me, two of them are supposed to go to prison. In fact, the prison where, is, where Mahmoud go go go, senior, the one with the RAC, man go do. And they tell you. As in, it won't, if na if na the prison, yes, it, it won't go there higher. Maybe if the REC one day for the one will be say a eh, 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 toilet day, patron day for Mamu do no toilet and patron. I they tell you why because na him be the master. Now that kind of thing you say make we tolerate. You cannot tolerate it. Go they work. Accepting poverty in good faith. Can you imagine that them are saying this? That this is how it is. Who? They have said it to their people and they are going to accept. And I think this is one of the reasons why most, especially the Southeasterners, have been fought. They tell them they get respect. Because those ones, you cannot even say this thing to them and they, they will not listen to what they die long. Ah! You, even somebody will be saying they get one euro for pocket for the South system. You cannot come and tell them this too. They go tell you, they go to the home, they go say, go with your food. That way they go say, then get, anyway, that is not even, that is not even the topic of discussion. The Northern Allies will always take you back to the Stone Age. They don't care about their citizens as far as they are benefiting from it. I pray to them will give them what they want and change all the Northern information. Okay, what do you expect when it's feeding fat from the spoils of office from the greedy politicians? And the thing is, funny enough, they tell you this, but they go around and do the exact opposite of what they say. They will tell you, for, for instance, those people that tell you that civilization is around, do you know they have smart homes? Do you know they have technology in their homes? Why then they, why then they use uh, this thing now? It is also haram. Making use of technological products is also haram, right? Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.